What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve problem 2.41 of Griffith's 4th edition. The problem reads, two large metal plates, each of area A, are held a small distance D apart. Suppose that we put a charge Q on each plate, what is now the elast electrostatic pressure on the plates? Okay, so let me draw the problem. So let's say this is the upper plate. Okay, and this is the lower plate. Both have the same area, A. Okay, so this has area equal to and the uh, uh, distance between the plates is D. Okay, and we put a charge Q on both plates. Now, how do we approach this problem? We know that the electrostatic pressure P is given by epsilon naught over 2 E squared, where E is the electric field of the system. Okay, so if we're going to rewrite this into a side view. Okay, so this will be the upper plate and this will be the lower plate. So this is Q and this is Q. Okay, because of equal charges here, sorry, because of equal charges be, uh, on the plates, the electric field between the plates is zero. Okay, you can calculate that using Gauss law. So that means the the electric field that we're going to calculate will be outside of the plates, above and below. So because this is a positive charge, the electric field above and below will be like this. Okay. Okay, so this is the electric field by a, uh, by a plate. So we already know that for a plate like this, using a pill box, the electric field would be the same magnitude as a 2. So the electric field above, is equal to now 2. We already calculated this. That's sigma over 2 epsilon. This is calculated from uh, Gauss law. The same goes here. The electric field below would be sigma over 2 epsilon. So that means the electric field of the whole region wherein there is only electric field outside is just the addition of the two which is sigma over epsilon naught and sigma here are the same and this is equal to the charge divided by the area over epsilon naught so therefore, the pressure, electrostatic pressure, will now be equal to P will now be equal to epsilon naught over 2 times the square of the electric field, which is Q uh, over epsilon naught 
a squared. Or, this is now equal to q squared over 2 epsilon naught a squared. Very simple, right? So this is now the electric electrostatic pressure on the plates as, as set up by this problem of two large metal plates. Okay, so that's it. That's a very short uh, solution to problem 2.41. I hope you learned something about electrostatic pressure here. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.